Selamat pagi dan salam sejahtera yang menghormati data yang baru Well, the the briefing was that there is slight delay, very slight, very slight delay. Zero point five five percent. Yeah, yeah, very slight delay. But I I, I can see that um, you know the way the the they use the the, the technology they use RCC for example is one of the uh, only the only second dam in uh, the whole of Malaysia that uses this technology RCC uh, technology which is uh, faster and uh, the concrete uh, hardens faster and of course uh, is is a good, is a good thing that if we can uh, uh, employ technology that is uh, the most modern uh, to use for construction of our dams, therefore it will it will give us the confidence that our dams will be uh, very sturdy and uh, uh, built to last you know, as as planned. 
So that is that is a, a very good thing that I say. So you are confident in this technology, is it? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I mean, the experts, the experts have uh, done it, and they have done it in Kinta. They are going to do it at Murun. When so, which technology is this? Uh, RCC from where? From which country? Uh, uh, what, uh, who, who invents this technology? Oh, it's developed over the last 20 years, uh, all over the world. All over the world. Yeah. There's no particular, there isn't particular any country. country yeah. So it's in the forefront of this dam construction. <coughs> Good thing. So the Kinta one, when was it? Yeah, uh, Kinta completed three years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago, yeah. Three years ago. So uh, you said slightly delay. Uh, the project is expected to complete at the end of next year. So Correct. how delay will be delayed? Well, I, I suppose uh, give uh, give and take a month or so, or maybe uh, still uh, end of next year. I think it's good. I mean, it's on track. It's on track. They, I think we have to now, uh, from my briefing, we have now to uh, catch up on the uh, resettlement uh, program uh, for the people who are who are affected by this. They are basically uh, how many kampong? Four. Four kampong. Four kampong. Yeah. Uh, so. Three hundred ninety-four. Yeah. Three hundred ninety-four four families so we have to catch up on that how soon is how so soon is in this respect in this respect uh, i was briefed that the uh, spn uh, spnb syarikat perumahan negara berhad is uh, giving a project to the state to be cited to, to resettle this uh, these people who are affected by this dam uh, so I will try and deal with the uh, with the federal side uh, and see how uh, this process can be smoothened up. Uh, um, the houses uh, uh, can be built by the contractor in the fastest possible time because we are talking about next year uh, uh, completion and uh, impounding uh, will be very soon also next year in June, June. Uh, in June next year. So we kita kena catch up to. Uh, siapkan rumah-rumah tersebut and so that our people who are affected can be moved to these new houses uh, so the, the I was told the contractor Naim is now doing the road uh, leading towards the new resettlement area so it's good um, my assurance is that uh, that we will uh, do our best to give the most comfortable uh, environment for the uh, re for the for the people who are affected by these deaths and this is our promise. Yeah. We, will, we will do it in the most comfortable manner that we can, so that the people will, will, act, will be able to rasa bahawa uh, kerajaan ini prihatin tentang, uh, tentang uh, kehidupan mereka. So, the two, uh, coming back to the delay, in what, what form is the delay? Is it because of the weather? Uh, yeah, the technical thing. Oh, it's a delay. Yeah, yeah, multiple yeah. factors. Uh, earlier we started, it was heavy rain last year. Yeah, yeah. So, but they were able to, there's only less, uh, less than one percent. Yeah. So, we're able to catch up uh, a couple percent yes. Okay. Uh, so How much is the cost now? Cost? Three. 360. Yeah. Sorry, 310 million, yeah. 310. 310 million. 310 million. So, uh, yeah. when is the flooding? Going to be June, June next year. By June. June. By June. That is the projected June next year started. Projected schedule, kan? Yeah. So kita kenal lah. Uh, so operational means uh, end of the end of the year. Completion. 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 Bukan operational. Completion. Operational. Uh, operational tak tahu lah. You kena commissioning, testing semua kan? Yeah. Will you build the treatment plant over here? No, no, no. no, no. no. The, the where is the water going to be? The water is still. I expected at Bakitang. Ah, okay. So we okay. control okay. the amount of flow down. Ah, to, to Bakit, Bakitang. Yeah. So, right. uh, your ministry is a green technology. Is there any possibility this game will turn into hydroelectricity project in the future? Yeah. Well, the, the project performance uh, people, meaning the state government, is uh, looking at it uh, 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 seriously. So, in fact, the, I was told that the, now they are going to design, redesign the, uh, 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 incorporate this aspect. Yeah. How how big is the power generated from this place? From this the capacity, capacity available is around 3 megawatt because water supply will be the main function. Of this. Uh, 3 megawatt. 
means uh, enough for how many? Uh, Big Bag Gawa is... No, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's meant for the grid. Yeah, it's meant for the grid. The grid. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, in, in, uh, I mean, any amount of electricity generated uh, contribution to the grid is, is good. And especially, if, as you say, uh, it's from green technology. <laughs> Hydro is a green. No additional cost. Ada, kena. Ada kena ada incorporate turbine dan sebagainya. Berapa, berapa additional cost? How much? We cannot say. We are still negotiating. Berapa turbine? From roughly how much would that be? All in all, if you can include that. Ada. I would say at least an ten percent of the project. Stay on the proposal. Stay on the proposal. Tell me, they are looking at the design now. Yeah, but this this cost design, cost element is something that we have to look at between the project proponent and the federal. We will see how it can be done. So, meaning this dam has the spec to 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 churn electricity. Is that it? Three megawatt. Three megawatt. So, we're going to install it together with the dam when it produces water. Right. Okay. Yeah. Ada lagi? Meeting from you. Untuk berapa terbang? Tiga. Oh, terbang. 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 I don't know. How many terbang is enough to generate one? In terms of should be one. We are still looking at the option that could be one, one main duty, one and then one just environmental. Because this is a water supply dam, and the hydro is. Okay. So the other in was mentioning in the Murun Dam, also using the same technology. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Contemporary ethnography and anthropological studies on the peninsula. And their resettlement later on will be based on their options after having a long discussion with them. So the same thing with here. Here it is based on the options. Their option, yeah? Their option, yes. That is why the state government abandoned the idea of resettling them at RGC in Kampung Payo and resettle them. So we were informed the other day that only about 200 houses will be built for them. How about the other 200 houses? The balance. The balance. These 200 houses are urgent because when the dam starts uh, flooding, these 200 uh, houses from two kampongs, from two kampongs, they, they will be all covered, they will be all flooded by water. Which two? Uh, this is kampong Tabak Sai and kampong Bojong Pang. So these two houses are more urgent. These two houses are built by SPNB. So the other uh, 100 plus houses, the state government, we have to consider how uh, the approach will be. Where are they going to be? The same, the same, the same, place, place. The same area. Apart from SPNB, building houses from there, is there any land? Yes, yes, yes. The land is already demarcated by the state government. Land and survey has already surveyed the land. How many acres per family? The acreage per family right now is 20 points per house. Per house, 20 points. In addition to the acreage for the farms. So the farms will be different. And the minister already discussed with me, uh, asking me to do estimates for additional acreage, which I'm going to do. And roughly, what your recommendation? Your recommendation? It will be. I'm thinking of about right now. The state government is thinking about three acres, yes, which is affordability to the state government. But if the federal government wants to chip in another three acres, that would be good for the state government. So your recommendation is six acres. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to work out with the estimates for the three acres. Otherwise, yes. the minister has asked me to make it. Is the MP you are going to to work out for this? Yes, yes, yes. As an MP in the area because I don't like the problems come back to me. You see, I started preparing them for this day since 2001. They have